feather headdresses are actually a clan badge. So this is a particularly grand one. We probably only have two in museums maybe. Being such a grand thing, they actually represent some of the investment of the person who constructed it in terms of borrowing from other people around it. So it represents a really uh, socially made thing uh, and the connection of that clan and the, the people who made it to other people. In general, this kind of really grand headdress is associated with men, but actually if you look at historic photos, you will see uh, several photos where there are women wearing these massive headdresses. So they're women of standing and respect, who have influence um, and are, are valued to, by the community. So the rondels that you can see, they're made of clamshell and turtle shell. And the turtle shell is a kind of fretwork, so it's been um, cut out. These rondels, this form, actually can be traced back to around 1500 um, before the Christian era. So they're really interesting form in that they're widespread across areas that aren't necessarily connected by other means. So that's from mainland New Guinea to Admiralty Island, New Ireland, uh, Bougainville and Solomon Islands. So it's an ancient form and it's still present and used and valued today. And they carry prestige as well as value. And depending on the context that they're used in, they can mean different things. They could be used to uh, mark someone's successful um, commission of a homicide in an official capacity. So if, if a raid happens against another village, this is no longer the case, this is historically speaking. Um, when the young man returns, he's awarded the permission to wear one of these in his hair. This is in the rural area. Um, on the other hand, it could also be used to decorate uh, a bride's um, her body or, or for her to carry with her as valuables when she goes to her husband's place. So one thing about the size and the, in some ways, fragility of this object, because it is 100 years old, it's a lot of fibres on there. There are at least nine species of bird on here. So fibre doesn't last as long as some other materials. Um, means that you're, well, it's not an obvious choice for display, not for the long term, because it's a sensitive object. Um, so I think it would have been several decades ago since it was last displayed and it's a big deal to move across you know countries. So for it to come from the Netherlands to London that's a big deal and a big move like many of the other objects in the, in the show.